Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you are new here, and I'm so excited to be filming today's video. Today we're going to be talking all about iOS 14 and how you can customize your iPhone and make it look all aesthetic and cute, just like all those cute TikToks that I'm sure you've been seeing on your For You page. So I'm going to be showing you, of course, how to get the customizable widgets as well as how to make your own app icons. I know you've probably seen the ones where you can go and grab a photo and put it on an app icon, but I want to show you how you can actually make your own. So hopefully you find this video helpful. I know iOS 14 has only been out for a couple days and there are already hundreds of these videos on YouTube, so of course I'm not trying to copy anyone. This is just my take on things and hopefully this will help you in some way and you'll learn something new. So I'm going to go ahead and start screen recording and I'll show you how I have everything set up. Of course, this is completely customizable so if you find that something else works better for you definitely do that and definitely find your own aesthetic and make it as cute as you want it to be okay so this is what my home screen looks like or at least the first page of my home screen so I have like a widget up here that just says the date I have a cute little um, Bible verse right here and I just threw in this picture of the ocean because I love the ocean. I also have some um, app icons, which again, I'm going to show you guys how I made these. This is kind of the first page and then the second page, you guys might hate me and I'll explain why I did this at the end. So this is the second page. I know it doesn't look as pretty as the first. I have a couple more of those widgets. I have a to-do list at the bottom because I thought that would be helpful. And the third page looks like this. I think this one might be my favorite just because I love the little lady from Lady and the Tramp. I really don't have a good reason for adding her. I just think it's really cute. Um, I also have another widget that says in the waiting keep creating. I love that quote. And then on the top I have one that says focus on the good. And then I have kind of my other random app folders. Again, I know it doesn't look as pretty as the first page here, but I'll explain why I have it set up that way and why it works best for me. So uh, yeah. Don't hate me just yet. So the apps that you're going to need for this are Widgetsmith, which I'm sure you've heard about, and then Canva, which is how we're going to make the cute little icons. So first, let's just go into Widgetsmith, and I'm actually going to take you guys through a full page. So I have this blank page right here, and we're going to completely customize this. Let's just go into our app called Widgetsmith. You can get this from the App Store. So you're gonna open it and go over to the tab that says widgets. You have three different options when it comes to widgets and they are small, medium, and large. Wow, very diverse. I like the small ones the most. I think they are the cutest, but if you want one of those time and date things, I think they fit best on the medium widgets. So I'm gonna make one for time and date. So I'm gonna click add medium widget, which will add a new one here. I'm gonna tap on it and click in the middle and then you can scroll through and see all of the different options you have so you can add a clock you can add the date you can add photos um, I think the first thing we're gonna do just to start things off is add a little calendar so I'm just gonna keep this one you can change the font I've been loving the New York font you can set the color of um, the calendar or whatever text you want I think I'm just gonna keep mine no I like the gray I'm gonna go with the gray and then also you can change the background color. I really like the one called cream right here. And then you're just gonna click the back button and you can rename it. I think it's super helpful to rename it and you'll see why in a second. But I'm gonna call this calendar two since I already have one. Um, so you're gonna click save and then go back out to your regular page. So let's say I wanna add that widget to my page, you're going to hold down like you would be rearranging your apps and then you're going to click the plus sign in the upper left hand corner. You're going to scroll all the way down to widget smith and then we added a medium widget so you're going to click on add widget and there it is but that's not what we made, right? That does not look like anything that I just customized and this was driving me crazy. Could not figure out why I kept customizing these and it just wouldn't pop up. So you have to hold down on the calendar and then go down to edit widget. Click on medium three so your options will come up. This is why it's super helpful to name them and I remember that I named mine calendar two so I'm going to click on that and then just click out of it and there you go. 
So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to make these little photos pop up, kind of like the lady photo that I have or the quotes that I have here. So again, you're going to go back to Widget Smith and you can choose the size that you want for photos. I think it's really cute to um, keep the small widget. So just do the same thing, click add small widget, click on it and click on it again. And then this time, instead of clicking a calendar, we're going to click photo and keep scrolling down you're probably going to be like where can i add my own photo you actually have to click on the next tab which is selected photo and choose photo and from here you can choose a photo from your library let's do this one this one says good things are coming so that's a really cute quote i really like that i'm gonna go back and tap to rename i just like naming them what they are so good things are coming it just makes it so much easier when you're actually adding it on your home screen. So go back, hold down, click the plus sign, scroll all the way down to Widget Smith, and add a small widget. Again, it's not going to be the one that we were just working on. You have to click done, go back, hold on Widget Smith, and click edit widget. And from there, you can click on the one that we just named, Good Things Are Coming and there it'll pop up. Sometimes you have to rearrange your home screen again whenever you add a new widget. So I still want my calendar at the top and I want that little photo beside it. So that's basically how you add the calendars, the little photos. You can literally go in through Widget Smith and you can customize this however you want. Um, you saw probably on my second page, I have a to-do list here, which actually just works through the reminders app in your phone. So if you wanted to do that, you could totally add that. I think it's just under the style. Yep, right here you can um, choose to do reminders. But that's basically how you make the widgets from Widget Smith. There's also an app called Color Widgets that I know some people have been using. I downloaded it, but I decided that I liked Widget Smith more. Now I'm gonna show you how I get these little icons on my phone. Um, it's kind of confusing, so I'm gonna try to go through it very slowly because it was really annoying me for a long time until I got the hang of it. So to get these, you're actually gonna have to use another app that you should already have on your iPhone. It's called Shortcuts. If you don't have it, you may have deleted it and you might just have to re-download it. I already had it on my phone and I just never used it. But basically what you do is you open this app and it's a bunch of shortcuts. So if I want to open my weather app, I click on it. It actually takes me to the shortcuts app and then to the weather app. So that's kind of, that's something I don't like about it. Um, I'll talk more about that later, but for now, let's talk about how you do this. So, let's say that I want a shortcut for my Safari app right here. So, I'm going to go into the Shortcuts app and I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a new shortcut. Click Add Action and then you're going to click on the X symbol, which is the scripting option. And then you're going to click open app and you're going to choose which app you want. Like I said, I want it to be Safari. So I choose that one. I choose, I chose that one. And then you're going to click the three dots, click shortcut name. We're going to name it Safari. And then you have to make sure you do this or it will not work. You have to click add to home screen and then you have to name it again. So I'm going to name it the same thing, Safari. And then how you would get your custom icon is you would click on the little photo icon, choose a photo, and you can click whatever you want. So I have some pictures here. I'm just going to click on this one. And this is what a lot of people are doing. A lot of people are going to Pinterest, grabbing a cute like aesthetic photo and adding it that way. And I think that's super cute. That's super great. But my mind doesn't connect that the little leaf icon is Safari. I like to have what I did on my first page, these little like corresponding icons. So for Spotify, I have a music note. So to make those cute little icons, you're gonna need an app called Canva. I promise it's so simple, especially if you have the app on your phone. So I'm gonna open the Canva app. You're gonna click on one of the designs. I've just been using the logo design. I don't really think it matters, but um, I think logo is just easiest for what we're doing here. So now you have this canvas type thing and at the bottom right corner, you're gonna click the plus sign. And there's all of these options. Like I said, we're making an icon. So I like to go into illustrations 
and search for something. So I'm making one for a safari. So I like this little icon. It reminds me of the Safari app. Um, I do not like the blue at all. So I'm gonna go down here and pick a different color. I've been using this tan color. I want everything to match. So I'm gonna go with that. You're gonna click off of it and then click the little share button at the upper right and click save as image. So that's gonna save it as a photo to your camera roll. But I want my Safari icon to be what we just made. So I'm gonna go back to the shortcuts app. I'm gonna open that. And then we're gonna click on the three dots, add to home screen again, and you're gonna click choose photo. And this time we're gonna click the icon that we just made. So same steps when it comes to like changing the photo and everything. It just comes down to actually making it in Canva. So now when I open Safari, it'll take you to shortcuts and then to Safari. As you can see, I was looking up Widget Smith earlier. If you don't want the Safari app, like how silly is it to have a Safari app here and then a Safari app here? I think that's kind of annoying. So you can hold down on the app and click remove app, but instead of removing it from like your whole phone, you can just remove it from your home screen and then it'll go all the way over to your app library. So there you have it. We have our cute little setup. You can obviously keep building this out. You can add more app icons. You can make more on Canva, um, add more widgets, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm gonna explain to you now why my other pages look like this and not like my first homepage. So the first reason I did it like this is because like we talked about, these little icons are just shortcuts. So when you open, like I wanna open the weather app, I click on it, it takes me to shortcuts and then redirects me to the weather app. I don't like that at all. I think that's so annoying and unnecessary. I wish you could just like, like manually update your app covers or something, but you can't do that. So I just think it's annoying and I didn't wanna go through and do all of that for my apps and then constantly be redirected. The other reason I did this is because, yeah, we make these icons, which are so cute, love it so much. But then I have this icon here for messages and I scroll over and I have it again for messages. And yes, I know I can remove this and I can put it in my app library here. But I don't really like the app library. I think it's annoying that you can't like customize it. Like why is Pinterest in other? It should be like with the rest of my social media. Same for like YouTube, I feel like. I just, I really wish I could customize this app library. Also, it's just very time consuming as you can probably tell going through and making the icons for every single one and then updating it. It just takes a lot of time, um, but I really like my homepage. I like all of it, actually. I think it's really um, convenient and it looks cuter than it did before, so that's a plus. Another reason I did it like this, I completely forgot to mention this and I feel like it's really important, is notifications. So if we are using a shortcut, we're using the cute little icon that we made in Canva, you're actually not gonna get those badge notifications that you normally would on your apps. And that really drives me crazy because I know if I don't have those badges i'm not gonna know if anyone texted me or am i missed calls or anything unless someone else has another way of doing it and i just don't know about it definitely let me know but as far as i know notifications are a no <laughs> that's just how i set mine up you are more than welcome to set up yours however you would like i think i'm gonna get an ipad soon like the brand new ipad air so i'll probably be making a ton of videos about that so make sure you're subscribed if you're into like Apple tech videos like this. If you decide to customize your phone, definitely post it on Instagram and tag me in your stories because I want to see them um, and I'll repost them on my story. But my Instagram is at JessicaLeeYT, so go check that out. If you have any questions, I answer all of my DMs. Literally every single person that DMs me, I promise, I got you. So DM me on Instagram with any questions that you have and I will do my best to help you. I've been rambling for a long time now, so I'm gonna go. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, guys.